Hey, get back here. Welcome to Market Monday. Let's go through. We actually got a lot of things to go through. Let's go through the team of the week cards that are coming out tomorrow. At least two of them that are teased. The rest will get teased tomorrow morning, I would assume. On Good Morning Man, we'll do a video for that. Um, I want to go through some coin making methods, which I know everybody's always on about. I'm going to try to teach you how to fish uh, with that instead of feeding you a fish for a day. Um, and uh, some more talk, most feared stuff, obviously, investments and what's going on with 50. Um, some market, actually overall general market moves too. So kind of a packed, whole wide range of activities we want to get to today. But first, let's take a look at a word from our sponsor. Rock Bottom Coins are the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. So, Shannon Sharp. The worst of the Sharp friends, brothers, Sterling Sharp being the number one. But Shannon is not bad being a Hall of Famer and all that on his own. 86 speed. And you know this game is quite reliant on speed. With this card, his medium route running can get chemmed up to 90 with a little play fake. Or I think West Coast maybe has it too. Um, hmm. He's 6'2". So he's not like the biggest one. But like height isn't as bad. Like there's not like a... A high point glitch this year. Some people were telling me the high point pass with the red zone chem is not bad either um, this year, which I haven't tried myself yet, but I might. Um, I'd say like it's a solid middle of the road tight end. Um, better than Tony G, kind of. I don't know. He's not bad, right? And especially for if you have that Broncos theme team going, like I know Fred Zilla does. Um, he's been, he's amazing for you, of course. I think maybe I'll try him, right? Then I got to move around my chems a little bit, which isn't that big of a deal. We like a little, uh, you know, moving. Although I don't like moving IRL. That kind of sucks. Next up, John Abraham. 85 speed off the edge. Okay, not a bad card right here. I, I would assume he's a defensive end. It doesn't really say on these things anymore. Left end, right end. Uh, but finesse move 91. You know, we've had... With it Shaq Barrett a couple of weeks ago and TJ uh, Watt with 93. So it's not the best. Block shed's not that great either, but he's got pretty good movement on the field. So overall, it's a very solid card. I don't mind this card one bit. But let's get into what the people want, right? Coin making methods before we talk about overall market moves. So a lot of what you want to do for coin making methods and how I want to teach you, like, if I, like, like I've talked about before, there are differences between loopholes and methods. Loopholes. I'm going to teach you them because everybody can do it and it keeps printing, right? I'm like, all right, do this thing. And then, like, it's it's very resilient and, like, it's a loophole in the system. So, you can keep doing it over and over. Methods, some are better than others, right? Some methods, if a lot of people do it, they go away. Some, if a lot of people do it, they're still pretty resilient with the market as it is. This is a pretty resilient method, these sets that are still in the game. And, I, you know... How many times have we talked about these sets before? It's been quite a bit, obviously, but I just want to reiterate best ways of making coins is sometimes doing these sets and getting the cards out of packs. Now, today, which we'll talk about a little bit later, we had a little bit of a market drop due to all pro packs. Uh, but with that, we've seen these Team of the Week cards, and especially tomorrow when Team of the Week comes out, I would expect these cards to go down more because more people are going to be pulling packs for them. But I want to take a look at this Marcus May set himself. Let's take a look at good old Moothead. And uh, right here, Marcus May. Let's do PS4 since it's on PS4. 195K. And then we look at the power up. Costs 75K. All right. So the rewards for this market, Marcus May, who's been playing pretty well, it's like what? 270. 270 is the reward out the set if you sell it on the block. All right. Now, what do these things go for in game? The 86, which I currently have in binder, so I can't click it on, is going for about 40K. Okay. 82s are going for 25k so 140k right there the 78s are going for 6.5 we'll say 7.5k all right so all that together 40 plus 100 plus 67,000 207,000 coins so just by looking at this one set marcus may how much was the return 270 how much did it take to do it 207 Minus tax, boop, 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 boop. it's like, I don't know, what, 30 to 40K profit just by doing a set, just by selling the pieces off. Obviously, this could easily change now that more people know about it. But why I'm trying to teach you how to fish is that you want to look through these smart sets, especially when market moves, goes down, goes up. If a, if a, a, lot, a big pack comes out, market goes down, set cards 
can be taken advantage of, right? These set cards are all balanced off what the market used to be. So if there's a huge swing one day, like this thing crashes, guess what doesn't crash? The cards that are coming out of sets. So you gotta be the dude that takes advantage of those cards coming out of packs and convert them to cards that come out of sets and sell them for the set cost cards, all right? Know it, love it, learn it, take advantage of it. So not only is this set good, I'm sure there's some other, I'm not gonna go through any more sets because like I said, learn to fish, right? Learn to filter on Mutthead, mutthead.com. I'll, I'll, I'll get you over here a little bit, all right? Go through here, go through the database, sort by team standout, sort by price descending. See what else is good. What another good? All right, Legerius Sneed. 125K. All right, he's not great on PlayStation. What's his power up? 120. Okay, he is great on PlayStation. That's 240 for him. And obviously, those are non snipe prices. Those are not the prices you're going to buy at. You're going to buy at prices below that, slightly below that, for more profit, right? So that's a non snipe profit opportunity. So learn to fish. Look through the set yourself. What other sets are there in game? All right, let's keep looking through the same team affinities. Um, team builders, maybe. What about builders? Uh, 59k for this guy. Fat, fat you cossy. Fat you pussy? Uh, so this guy, how much does it take to do the team builder set? Right here. 86 team builder. 183, okay, I, I gotta look those up. 80 to 82s right now, if you look at the training spreadsheet, which will be linked in the description below. Uh, you can always find this on my Twitch channel by hitting exhibition point training. 80s going right now, 6K at most. You'll be sniping these under 6K if you do proper filters. So 6 times 4 is 24, and then an 83 goes for 12. 36K to do the set. 36K. 36K. And how much that fat pussy guy go for? 50K. Dog, these things are out there for you guys. Right? Since this all pro packs came out and shrunk the market, this shit's there. Good one, right? You can look at Team Diamonds. Although I hate Team Diamond sets because they're so... They take a lot of different, very specific cards. I don't like these sets that much. They're there, though. Right? Not as, not as universal as the other ones that are more market-based. You can go look at Team Old Team of the Weeks. Legend sets are amazing when they come out. There's some good profit to be printed there. Just don't get caught, you know, trying to catch a falling knife. But when they come out on the weekends... People will pull the legend set pieces out and they'll still have a high price on the actual legend because people are buying the actual legends right away. So there's plenty of profit here on the legend that come out. 50 set pieces. Very solid. You can print some coins out of this. Like this is like absolutely stupid sick how much coins you can make by doing these sets when they're coming out on the Friday, even into Saturday on these things. Okay? This pat, like because of that uh, power up thing that happened uh, where they gave away power ups for all those solos, which I guess I could open. Um, it shrunk the prices of them all. Okay, so that's that's something else. Uh, but yes, stupid profits out there right now for y'all. Um, I could yeah, it's it's this pack right here, the the, the fantasy pack that opened up for everybody's. I'll actually I'll, I'll go through. All right, so that's a lot more things I want to talk about today. Uh, but those are great coin making methods. Most fear. All right, what do we what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? All right, what's our favorite one? I think it, I think it's DRC or Maze, right? Um, let me go back and yeah, I'll, I'll compare that off 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 uh, video. So anyways, most feared, what's happening? The community is getting a little stressed, right? Dog, there's like, I want to see this one. Somebody replied saying they'll, they'll, oh God. He said he'd put his nuts in a blender just for some most feared. <laughs> Where was it, dude? Something like that. Um, my, my content is dry. As a Popeye's biscuit. <laughs> Look at the replies. All right, here it is. I will cut off both my testicles and play ping pong with them. Y'all don't fucking draft this most feared promo. We're getting crazy out here, Yang. Give us some info. This is our life. This is not a game. Although it kind of is a game. All right. So with that, again, I just want to reiterate what I said last week. If rerolls come out with training, the market does not go down. Okay. Market could go down if there's no re-roll of training and there's only re-roll of bats or some shit that we go out. So that's the market crash. I don't know. I know a lot of people sold off their squads, prepping for it, trying to get a new one. We need a receiver. We need a moss. If we don't get a most feared receiver like a moss or a Megatron, I'd be super disappointed. This game desperately needs 
a high end receiver to, to you know battle with these Deion Sanderses of the world, Wards of the world that are just super fast. Um, so fifty cards. Why didn't the fifty sets go up when they were released? Because like I said, when I value the cards, they're not that good, right? It was so weird to have a legend weekend and a fifty weekend of cards, and they're all underwhelming for one reason or another, right? Antonio Cromartie didn't set a speed, a new speed threshold like we've seen. Oh, sorry. Like we've seen like Dion do or other guys. He's basically like slower than DRC who came out last week. Will's a linebacker. Those things don't jump in this game. Vernon Davis didn't have the medium route running threshold. So that's why they didn't go out. They were at 25K. You could have sold on hype. Uh, you could have waited to see what cars else they revealed in the morning. So it is, it is kind of shitty, but I would definitely recommend. I, I don't think they're going to fuck us over in 52 weeks in a row, right? With boring cards again. I don't think they're going to do this bad again. Are they? Maybe. But I don't think it's a bad idea to get through here and, and pick off a couple of these things prep. Because six oh god, I already went. Uh that's not a bad price for the 50 right away when they drop, right? For 16k. I'll probably end up uh picking up a few of these pieces myself. As and I'm I'm I got boomer fingers, I guess, or boomer internet that's really slow and I can't snipe anything. We'll do that later. Uh that was a great sniper there, but I was gonna miss it. So it was weird that last week was a, a boring weekend with no most feared, with no content. Like these are the kind of legends and fifty cards that I totally expected to come out when most feared came out. And maybe that's what EA was, EA was thinking. Like, oh, we'll put out some boring uh, fifty guys. We'll put out some boring legend guys uh, because of you know one reason they don't jump. You know, Wilson's not boring. It's just his position sucks this year. Um, and these two cards are just kind of like whatever. I mean, if they're your theme team, you got excited, right? But. That's why I think they were underwhelming this past weekend. And that's why the prices didn't go up because people weren't like... If, 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 if like Megatron came out in the 50, those prices would have been like over 30k each. So it is it is very dependent on content and stats that come out too and names. Uh, as for trophies, I'm stacking a ton of trophies. I truly expect the season Series 3 to come out after Halloween. Maybe early November-ish. I think November 6th is when it came out last year. So you can keep stacking. But in the end, there's no reason to get the new John Madden. There's no Series Masters this year. So for your competitive trophies, just take the uh, red zone pack uh, because the value is better than touchdown packs. Take the coins and run, right? Because it's 25K for 85 trophies and 50K for 175. So you're getting a five trophy break there for the same amount of coins. Um, gap pack method, I haven't run it in a while. You guys can let me know if it's still working. I think it's still okay. Uh, team of the week gap pack method, I think might be dead, but the 50, if it comes back, those prices go up. It's still not bad. Remember the gap pack method. You want to sell off expensive cards. Don't combine everything. Um, that's how you make your coins through the tri for the through the, through the rare uh, cards and power ups, and then exchange all the, the low end value ones for higher end cards into the fifty cards. But the it's not as good right now because fifties are really low in price. So there you go, Market Monday. Hope it wasn't too long for you guys. Hopefully, I made you some coins, and uh, that's really what I get wanted to get through. Um, training right now. Oh, I, I was gonna show that. The, oh yeah, yeah, the All Pro. What happened with the All Pros? Let's look at this. I think I, I think I still have this. This is what the prices were yesterday on these cards. So yesterday, ten eighteen. I'm gonna go back. Do you see how all these cards? See how all this market? All right, all right, all right. I'll go forward on it. Do you see how this is the price yesterday? All right. Now let's go to today's prices. Do you see how they're all going down? All pros were giving out a lot of low 80s. A lot of high 80s there. 90, 91, 92 stayed about the same because all pro packs don't really give them. And then 93, that Barry Sanders went up because there's so few in the market. So, market crash due to all pros today. That happens. All pros, people love ripping all pro packs due to the reputation. They're okay, I would say. Um, I ripped a few. I don't necessarily think I like. I actually made a profit. I pulled Aaron Donald. No, I pulled Aaron Donald out to get a gold player pack today on stream. That was kind of crazy. Uh, but that's what I got for you. All pro packs, market, pew, goes down like the Viagra's wearing off. All right, until we meet again, I'll see you tomorrow for more Team of the Week reveals. Um, but peace out, dude.